the process. This is a tool I use in my toolkit. Like if I have a really sore horse and no foot, no foot to nail to, I have this in my drawer in my shoeing trailer, and I'm going to pull a couple rolls out and get fluffy. A couple rolls of cast on the bare feet, and he's going to be doing good. So this is just the process I go through to put the casting material on the foot roll cast. It's um, impregnated with resin, and it's, it's really tough. It does better if you nail a shoe on first, or nail a shoe on afterwards. It wears a little bit better, but it will hold up for a few weeks just putting the casting material on if you're just looking for a, a temporary solution. We have a bare foot here, so we're just gonna, the easiest way to apply the cast is forward on the foot stand. And the reason for that is I can see exactly what I'm doing. If I try to roll it between my legs, I can't see. I end up casting the hairline, I end up casting the bulbs, I end up getting the cast where I don't want it. So the best way i found is bring the foot forward on the foot stand and roll on the cast around like this and I see exactly how high up the wall I'm coming. If I try to keep it as low as possible, only getting it to the point on the wall where it's, where it's needed. If I go way up the wall, I'm going to compromise hoof quality sometimes, so I like to keep it on the distal end of the wall as much as possible. Yeah, great. Yep. So I, I always go in with a bead of it here super fast prior to putting it on, and I just put a bead on the distal end of the wall. And then, then I'll wrap it with, with the ur um, with cellophane wrap after I put the cast on. But that that urethane, the adhere super fast, just helps everything stay in place and helps it adhere to the wall. It will stay on for a little while. It'll stay on for a few weeks. The resin in it will stick to the foot, but this is a little extra insurance, and it'll help it help it stay on. I just run a bead all around here, and that's all it takes. And we got the three inch foot probe casting tape. Sometimes I'll use the two inch on smaller feet. Just kind of depends. I don't want to go up over the bulbs. I'm going to probably cross the bulbs a little bit. And I'm going to have to go in and trim that away because it, it's a hard material and the bulbs are soft, so it's it's going to it's going to cut into the bulbs over the course of the shoeing or the course of the casting. So I'm going to have to cut that away so we don't create any problems. So then I just go in, the water is going to activate it, so I'll just go in with a sponge and just wet casting material. And you see it's all irregular on the bottom. I'm not going to worry about that because I'm going to put the foot down and the, and the floor is going to actually mold that bottom to the the same as the bottom of the horse's foot is going to keep everything flat so I don't worry about that the weight bearing is going to take care of that itself and don't wrap the hoof stand in with the foot I've done that before it's turned into a disaster <laughs> Horses don't like to put stands attached to their feet when they're setting back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going round and round. It wraps great, it keeps everything in place, keeps everything nice and tight and clean while you're 
waiting on that now. You see everything's irregular on the bottom. Now when that horse bears weight, he's gonna push it flat. I'm just gonna let it set up. And while I'm doing the other foot, he's gonna be bearing weight on this. And then it makes everything perfect. It'll be a nice, clean, tidy job. Now, two or three minutes into it, I wanna go in and make sure my cast is not on my bolt. You know, I could have put a layer of dim, I could have put orthotic felt, or I can just cut it away from the bolt. So I got three different options. I like the orthotic felt, I like putting dim behind it. So it just kind of depends on what I need, but the, but the main thing is it can't be touching the bulb, so we got to use something to, to keep it separated. Might have waited too long, but, but you can see where I wrapped and I came up on the bulbs, so I, I'll go in. Um, I'll just go in with a knife. I, I just usually go in with a knife. A lot of guys go in with a rasp and cut that, but it's just a matter of personal preference. But before it gets too hard. And you gotta be very careful when you're doing this. You can nick a bulb pretty fast. trouble when that happens. This guy won't feel the thing. Nah. Go ahead, cut away. He was already lame. <laughs> I just cut that away from the bulbs. All contact there. Oh, okay. Everything's just wrapped up nicely and Fluffy can live for another day.